All right, we have a World Cup match coming up here. This is going to be Netherlands versus Greece. Um, and this is the deciding match in this series. They're one and one right now. So we're going to have Eric, who on here appears to be Kakita Seto, uh, playing Crane. He's representing the Netherlands. And then Greece is going to be Akis Scorpion King. Uh, Rudo on here, who is playing Scorpion. So let's see what we have here. Uh, Guest of Honor is pretty good in this matchup. So that's a good find here. Crane is second player also, so has... He won the dice roll and showing Guest of Honor, yeah. Ooh, we see Bayushi Liar with one fate. That's a little bit interesting to me. <laughs> Did he just win the game? Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Scorpion is going to get the passing fate. Let me bring up the deck list here. So the crane list is Dragon Splash. We have three let go, two hawk tattoo. Uh, the restricted list card is policy debate, two of those. And then the scorpion player is going to be on Dragon's Flesh as well. Two let go, two hawk tattoo, one tattooed wanderer. Interesting. Um, restricted list card is forged edict, as expected from scorpion. So we see a Void Ring with this Bayushi Liar finds Fertile Fields. Um, hmm. So going Void is interesting. I guess he wants to prevent his opponent from voiding him so that the Bayushi Liar would die this turn, but that doesn't seem like a really big deal. Um, I guess he also wants to get this Guest of Honor off the field as soon as possible, so that makes sense. Um, we see no defense here, so just going to let this go through, it looks like. Ooh, we have a Hawk Tattoo on the Guest of Honor. That is interesting. Like, you want this Void Ring to go off, right? Maybe you're going to play a Fiery Madness? Ooh, it does have the Fiery Madness. Wow. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see if Crane has any cards, though. You could have a Let Go here. would be good. Uh, let's see what else. You could take this opportunity to dishonor the Bayushi Liar by force shaming or court gamesing him since he can't cancel it. We do see a let go. That is good. Uh, he could have another Fiery Madness, but apart from that, he would need a conflict character, I think. Uh, he could play Meek Informant. That would be enough skill to win. Ooh, he play he uses the favorable ground to send his Bayushi Liar home. Interesting. Um, so just gonna get this guest of honor to bow here. The problem with this now is that you've already used your political conflict, and so the crane can just not do a political attack this turn, and then the Bayushi Liar just doesn't do anything, right? I'm gonna go see what the dogs are barking at.
Okay, so let's see what happened. Hey, Nightcrawlers, how's it going? Um, so, Steward of Law got played, attacked with the Watering, uh, and we saw an Assassinate on that. Seems good. So, I think this is this is fine for Crane, right? Ooh, Tattooed Wanderer, though. Maybe not fine. If Crane has... Mm, you can't play an Assassinate, though, because it'll just get cancelled, right? Uh, so, gonna go back into Fertile Fields with that Earth Ring. Yeah, so I definitely would have taken the opportunity to Dishonor the Bayushi Liar if I had a Court Games or a Four Shame in my hand during that first conflict. Um, because then you could just assassinate now, if you have it, but maybe he just doesn't have any of those cards. Uh, we see no defense pass, so this earth ring is going to go off. Discards an ornate fan, that's probably fine, not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, unfortunately now Crane will not get the favor, it's going to be one to one here. But at least Scorpion doesn't have it, I guess. Does he have Censure? He does have two Censure. So yeah, Scorpion not having the favor is good. Uh, you lost the Earth Ring, but that's not the end of the world, I guess. And you still have this Guest of Honor with two Fate. So Crane is going to be first player this turn. You can play the Doji Challenger, maybe. Yeah, the World World Cup was definitely pretty good for people who like to watch games. Um, I also want to mention real quick that he found Upholding Authority on his attack, which is probably one of the better provinces to find. Let's see what the row is. Secret Cache, Upholding Authority, Pilgrimage, Shameful. Yeah, so like finding Pilgrimage would have been bad. Uh, shameful would have probably been okay. Should do it regularly. Regular World Cups, maybe. Um, secret cash would be, would have been bad. So, yeah, upholding authority probably one of the better ones. We do see the Doji Challenger with three fate here. He has a favorable ground as well, which is going to be really good with this board. Um, that will let you move in the Guest of Honor to multiple conflicts to keep turning off events. It'll let you pull someone with the Doji Challenger and then move home. Um, current one is going to keep going for quite a while. Yeah, um, I'm not sure exactly how long the World Cup is going to last, but this is only week two. I think there'll be like, there'll be at least three weeks of groups, right? Because every team has to play every other team. And then after groups, yeah, I'm going to do a bracket stage. So yeah, it'll keep going for a while. Um, so Soshi Illusionist, uh, that's a good buy here. That can get rid of an honor token on like the Doji Challenger or something to turn off Voice of Honor if he tries to do that. Or can get rid of the Dishonor token on Bayushi Liar to get extra cancels. Um, let's see, we see an attack with the Doji Challenger at Upholding Authority, so what ring do you want here? Fire seems good. Water seems good. You could actually go Military Water. Yeah, and that looks like he is. that is what he's going to do. So you go Military Water, you pull the Soshi Illusionist, and then you bow the Bayushi Liar. That seems really good. Uh, Scorpion now needs to play some kind of card to prevent this from happening. Water's best, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Fire is weak to Illusionist. I mean, you at least get him to use the Illusionist so he spends a fate, and then your next honor or dishonor will stick, but yeah, Water is better, I think. Um, so you probably don't defend this, right? Like, you actually want this to break? So, if you don't defend and he just doesn't pull anybody, then you're actually fine with that. Uh, he will pull the Soshi Illusionist, though. 
Ooh, never mind. There's a fate worse than death. So now he'll need a conflict character if he... Ooh, pass. Yeah, unfortunate. So he got the fate off the watering. Yeah, apparently uh, the the names are a little bit weird. Like their Jigoku names are different than their Discord names, I guess. But um, yeah, as far as I know, Kakita Seto is Eric and then... Rudo is Hakus, Scorpion King. Um, yeah. By the way, Luke, you're only you're number three on the bits leaderboard. That's not. I guess it resets in one day though, so. Probably don't want to do that right now. Um, could just wait a day and then get to the top pretty easily. Uh, so we do see a Fiery Madness on the Guest of Honor. This is the second Fiery Madness in the deck out of two. Don't like cheering on Saturday, yeah. Yeah, there were some uh, high high bit donations there. Trying to remember exactly what happened. I think the uh, Danarizuri, however you pronounce that, I think he he cheered a bunch of bits because of that game where the magistrate station didn't break all game. He said he would donate some if it didn't break. And then Phoenix Fox donated a bunch just so he would be number one again. But yeah, so there are no more Fiery Madnesses left in the deck. Um, honestly, I would save my let goes for Cloud the Mind at this point, right? Is he the substitute? Um, I believe he is Eric on the... Yeah, that was, that was like the longest game I've ever seen, actually. Um, is he the sub? Wait. Hold on, let me check this out. This is group two. Uh, we're seeing a fire attack with the tattooed wonder here. That seems good. Eric is our sub. Oh, I see. Yeah, but I guess his name on Jigoku is just different. Hmm. And it looks like nothing's going to happen there. Fertile Fields draws him a card, then just passes. Dishonors the Guest of Honor. So if, if he has any Soul Beyond Reproach in hand... Uh, two of those in the deck. If he has any of those in his hand, I would play them during the conflict with this Guest of Honor here so they can't be cancelled. Uh, this is skill one at Upholding Authority, so if he defends with one character here, then you just Soul Beyond Reproach, right? Assuming you have it. Asked Eric, he confirmed not playing. Well, I think it's a different Eric, right? There's, there's, I don't know, I'm pretty sure there's more than one person named Eric, right? Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, this is, okay, I'm confused now. So this is the other, yeah, so on on the matchup sheet it says Eric. But I think it's actually the other player on the team, Nellis. 
I'm just going to ask in chat. Yeah, so let me let me change that title. Um, yeah, for some reason they have Eric on the matchup spreadsheet. Isn't that a girl name? Uh, I don't know. Could be. Uh, let's see what happened here. Ooh, we did see the Soul Beyond approach. Actually got used on the Doji Challenger there. And then it's going to favorable ground the Guest of Honor home, so that seems good. Played last week, he had to sub in. Okay. Oh man, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but that metal coin guy did some new scorpion coins. They look pretty good. Alright, so the Soshi Illusionist is going to go for this Earth Ring here. Guest of Honor defends. Um, Yeah, yeah, the coins are pretty tempting. I already have the the dragon and the crab coins, so I probably shouldn't buy them. Plus, I have, like, no money right now. But they're definitely on my wish list. Uh, we see a court games to honor the guest of honor. There's an ornate fan. Pronounced the same, but spelled differently. I hate it when languages do that. And then you have words that are spelled differently but pronounced the same. It's confusing. Um, so Crane is going to win that conflict. The Illusionist removes the status token on Guest of Honor. France is a feminine name in France, but it's pronounced differently. <laughs> Yeah, uh, getting a little bit off topic here, maybe. So, oh, by the way, Luke, since you said you don't like to donate bits on Saturday, I'll be doing the weekly Go stream tomorrow if you want to come learn how to play Go. Um, interesting. Discards Mia Mystic. I would have actually considered keeping Mia Mystic to kill this Fiery Madness. We'll try to come. All right. Heard Guest of Honor is a good card. Yeah, it's it's all right. You know, it's it's no Borderlands defender, but it's pretty good, I guess. Oh, I probably should have posted the stream link in the World Cup channel also. There's a guest in play, so Crane is winning. That's my top level commentary. Yeah, sounds good. Um, only going to be in play for two more turns here. <laughs> it's no Borderlands Defender. I mean, it's it's not, right? Borderlands Defender is like the best card in the game. In my opinion. Um, so we see Cautious Scout. That's a good card. 
and another social illusionist here. Um, if Scorpion has another Fate Worse Than Death for the Doji Challenger, it will be the last Fate Worse Than Death, but it would still probably be pretty worth playing. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true, but fortunately we have open deck lists and know that he is not running Phoenix Splash, so we're fine. He could have Mononoaware, but he's not playing that either. <laughs> yeah, it's not Borderlands Defender. You can't complain about it. I mean, it's still pretty good, but... Ne yeah, Netherlands, this is uh, the Greek Scorpion player, not the Netherlands Scorpion. Uh, we see Scorpion play a let go to discard that ornate fan. So crane decks don't have a lot of attachments, just the katanas and the fans basically that you would want to use let go on, so that's fine. Um, not going to be a very useful card in that matchup. He has two calling and favors as well. Uh, so yeah, those attachment control cards, not the best in this particular matchup. Wow, he's going back into Fertile Fields again. Um, I guess this is safe because it means he's not going to flip Magistrate Station ever, which is just what you really don't want to do, but... I guess it's going to be Hawk Tattooed in. Um, possibly. He already did it once. But attacking Fertile Fields every turn feels pretty bad as well, right? Like, Crane just keeps drawing cards here. Otherwise, why let go now? Um, oh, well, he's actually just going to defend with Kest of Honor. Interesting. Wow, and he Hawk Tattoos in the Illusionist. It's a light secret cache at that point, yeah. I mean, it already is a light secret cache, right? Um, if Akis lose this, we're going to have a rant on how Crane is overpowered. He's claiming that Crane is the best clan since Cycle 1, really? That seems like a pretty bold claim to make. I don't know about that. Like, Crane have literally never won anything, right? As far as I know. I don't know about that. Crane is one of Scorpion's more even matchups. Yeah. They came in top four. Well, that's not winning, is it? Um... We see a Goblin Sneak get played, going for... Oh, he's trying to win this. Oh, there was a Bonsai on the Guest of Honor. Uh, and I find Katana now as well. So this is a pretty big Guest of Honor now. This Voidering is pretty important here. If you can Void the Guest of Honor this turn, then that's really good. Uh, can't play any events, though, and... Post cycle 2, Crane matchup versus Scorpion is quite good. Crab 1, Crane top 4, Dragon 1, Lion 1, Phoenix top 2, Unicorn. Yeah. Wait, what did Lion win? I don't remember them winning anything. Um... Wow, so Crane is going to win. Oh, right, Worlds. <laughs> that doesn't count, though. That was that was back in the Dark Ages of Corset. 
since then now, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Crane winning that conflict is pretty big. That means the Guest of Honor will stick around until next turn. Cautious Scout, going to go ahead and find a province here. He finds Shameful Display. World Champion, it's something, I guess. Argument was post cycle one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So so Lion did win worlds, but I I don't know. I find it kind of hard to count that when you know that was back when nobody knew how to play one year ago. Yeah, <laughs> like people just that we only had the corset and nobody really knew what they were doing, right? So I don't know. I mean, it still counts for something, but. So Crane is going for a watering here. Gonna unbow this guest of honor, I guess. That seems good. He was probably hoping to find pilgrimage there. Um, conflict really destroyed Scorpion's turn, yeah. I still have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if anyone really does. Hey Phoenix Fox, how's it going? Ooh, we see a Cunning Magistrate here. So there was an Assassinate on the Kasha Scout. Steward of Law got played. Cunning Magistrate gets played. Steward of Law is in the conflict though, so you can't dishonor him. Uh, Cunning Magistrate will still win though. Uh, is this military? This is military, so you can't stronghold. A little bit unfortunate there. Box the Fox is Phoenix Fox on Discord. Cunning Magistrate is extremely desperate, yeah. Not what you really want to be playing here. Ooh, wow. Favorable Ground sends the Steward of La home, and then Doji Challenger gets pulled in. Um, I don't really like this, because now without the Steward of Law there, he's just going to dishonor you, right? That seems bad. Um, I guess if Crane has like a soul beyond reproach or yeah, greedy favorable ground. If he has a soul beyond reproach or a or even just a way of the crane, then maybe he's okay. Why did you cheer six hundred when you aren't even subbed? Yeah. I mean, maybe he just doesn't want emotes. Because I can, yeah. <laughs> um there's a pass, there's a shameful display. Let's see if he has the Soul Beyond Reproach. He 
has a way of the crane. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, there's a sentry, though, to cancel it. That's one sentry down. One more to go, I believe. Scorpion, Dragon versus Crane, Scorpion, who do you think is favored? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Ooh, Meek Informant. Depends on the Crane splash. Um... Well, I th yeah, Scorp Splash, but I think Shoot is talking about the particular cards that are splashed. So, Meek Informant sees Assassinate, Bonsai, Menacing Iron Warrior, Ornate Fan, Policy Debate, all three political rivals, ooh, and two Voice of Honor. So, looks like he's going for the Earth Ring here. So you could just play a political rival. Um, it's kind of difficult because he has political favor, so you can't just defend with Steward of Law. Yeah, I think it's going to be the rival here, probably. Just so you don't get Earth Ringed, right? Scorpion has zero fate, so like, what's he going to do? Yeah, rival two fate. Um, and then you probably go fire next. One thing that's kind of unfortunate here is that Crane will be getting an unopposed conflict next, which means Scorpion will go down one honor below what Crane is at. And that's actually just going to turn on the Scorpion Stronghold, so it's essentially like you're losing one honor for attacking. Uh, kind of annoying, but you can break... Sh uh, no, you can't. Political Rivals here. Well, you have the Ornate Fan, so... Yeah, you can play Fan on the Stuart and try to break Shameful, right? Uh, policy Debate? Yeah, you should Policy Debate here 100%. We see a court games to dishonor the political rival. Okay. So you... Does he... Wait, he has policy debate, right? Yeah, he has one policy debate. And yeah, we do see that get played. Uh, stronghold not used. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything here. But that's true. Ooh, censure cancels policy debate. Unfortunate. That is the last censure... Uh, what is the current score for Netherlands versus Greece? It is one to one, so this is the deciding game here. So that is going to be it for that conflict. Um, he didn't have any ways to honor, right? Yeah. So Steward of Law is going to go at Shameful Display here. I think we will see the fan played to get the break. Um, right? Yeah, we do see the fan. And again, Scorpion can't do anything unless he has a let go, I think. Yeah, so that is going to be the break there. Got destroyed by Sly Knight earlier today. That was Crane versus Scorpion as well, huh?
Yeah, so that province breaks. Uh, Crane is going to get the Imperial Favor here. That's pretty good. Um, keeping... I feel like keeping Asami is probably good, right? My deck can't get deal with Guest of Honor, yeah. Mostly see Seeker Cranes if they splash Scorp to be on Calling Shameful Mark of Shame. If they are Keeper, they have some number of Edicts. Keeper is better for Edict, yeah. Is Edict like 3 influence? What is it? Two influence, okay. Yeah, the other problem with Keeper of Air is that you don't get to have Seeker of Air, which is a good roll, right? There's the Imperial Palace for Crane. Um... If he if if they had seen that a little bit earlier, they might have been able to prevent those censures. Two if eight worse than death, more than mark of shame. Yeah, I mean mark of shame doesn't really seem that great. It's definitely not as good as like Soul Beyond Reproach, right? Keeper build, definitely two edict. Um, so Crane plays a Doji Challenger here with three fate. We'll see if Scorpion plays anything or just takes the passing fate. Is going to play the actress that can pull a Brash Samurai, which is pretty good. Fate worse than death is just such a swing, whereas Mark requires a bit more setup, yeah. I mean, Mark of Shame is good for, like, setting up a Noble Sack. Uh, Guess versus Scorp, you Mark of Shame into Noble Sack, yeah. But, but yeah, you have to, I mean, there's... They have to not have cancels, right? You have to have an honored character. And that's, like, three fate as well. But, yeah, it's definitely not bad. Um, they're both going to drop the bids to three here. I think I actually would have liked to see Scorpion bid a bit higher, just to have a better chance of turning on the Stronghold. Um, unless he has, like, a card to play to lose some honor, maybe, I don't know. So, Guest of Honor has no fate left. Mark of Shame is not bad, I agree. Yeah. I mean, it's not as good as, like, Borderlands Defender, right? But it's not bad. Um, ooh, we see both Doji Challengers going to attack this Upholding Authority with the Air Ring. That was the only one that had Fate on it. So, just going to go ahead and break this, I guess. Uh, we know he has two political rivals in hand, so we could see both of those get discarded. Um, he could try to prevent the break by pulling in two characters. There's the Actress getting pulled in. Uh, you probably pull... The Illusionist. Could you check Crane's discard? Yeah, uh, Crane has Brash Samurai, Kasha Scout, Nourishma, a bunch of stuff actually. Uh, Mystic's probably bad, right? But Brash Samurai seems good. 
Um, Asami is maybe good. Uh, we do see the Cunning Magistrate get moved in. Crane, the clan filled with not bad cards, but not as good as Borderlands Defender. I mean, that's like every clan, right? Except Dragon, I guess. And Scorpion. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to beat Borderlands Defender, right? Uh, so we see a way of the Scorpion to dishonor this Doji Challenger. We see a pass. Crane Dynasty is bonkers compared to Scorp. Yeah, that's true. Crane Dynasty is pretty good. Um, but... Could be better if they had Borderlands Defender, right? Uh, way the Scorpion dishonors the other Doji Challenger. That's a little bit unfortunate, but... I mean, you're bowing out these two characters, so that's fine. Would kill for Cautious. Yeah, Cautious Scout is a really good card. I'm really, I'm really sad that the Crab Scouts don't have that ability. Because we have a few Scouts, but... None of them are really worth playing. Wish I had your conflict deck, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the answer, I guess, is to just play Dragon, and then just, like, literally all your cards are insane, right? Um, we see... So that's going to be a pass, so the conflict will end there. Crane has a lot of Dishonored characters here. Yeah, Soul Beyond Reproach is pretty good. Um, looks like Crane doesn't have his other one here, or maybe he's waiting. So you could you could just wait till the Guest of Honor is in a conflict, and then Soul Beyond Reproach this challenger. Seems good. We know that Crane has at least two Voice of Honor in hand, but hasn't been able to turn that on yet, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. We see a military water attack here at Fertile Fields. Uh, do you defend with... Hmm. Guest of Honor is two strength, so you could defend with her. Kind of an awkward one. Yeah, we do see the Guest of Honor defend. Fertile Fields draws yet another card. Uh, what turn is it? It's turn four, so I think Fertile Fields has drawn four cards this game. That's pretty good. Um, ooh, we see another Goblin Sneak played into the conflict. So Crane will need another military buff now. Um, yeah, Goblin Sneak, you can't policy debate him. Let's see, what could Crane have here? Could have a Katana, we've only seen one of those, I think. But that would leave play at the end of the turn. You could have another Bonsai. Um... Could have a way the crane maybe. We know that there is a, an assassinate in hand, but that would bring you down to two honor, so probably don't want to do that. Um, this is the watering. So is he gonna unbow the cunning magistrate probably, or bow the steward of law? I'm not sure. Goblins would make amazing debaters. Fertile Fields is often underestimated, but after early game, we usually value it more than Garden. Yeah, uh, Fertile Fields is pretty good. Um, we we still run Garden over Fertile, Fertile Fields and Crab because our conflict deck can be kind of expensive with all the one cost attachments and stuff, and we have Spyglass to draw us cards, so we don't really need the card draw as much. Um, but Fertile Fields is definitely really strong.
Yeah, gaining fate can be harder than gaining cards, that's true. Crane definitely wants to have, like, just as many cards as possible in hand, though. Like, in Crab, you don't really care about that as much. You'd rather have the fate to play the cards that you already do have. Um, so we do see a small bonsai there. I like that. Yeah, once you flip Manicured, you're not going anywhere else. All the other options are bad. That's definitely true. Manicured is like the the weakest of the Crane Rail, right? Um, there's a Way of the Crane to honor the Doji Challenger. So playing that during this conflict so it can't get canceled. Didn't use the Shotsura Actress there. Gonna save that. I guess if you used it on Breath Samurai, you can honor. Yeah, when you flip the Fertile, it's like manicured for that turn. Crane with good fate management does not need Garden Fate that much after early game, but we always need card draw, yeah, definitely. So, Steward of Law going to attack a face down province, finds secret cash, ooh. So Scorpion will get to see another card here. Um, so finds a card off secret cash there. This is enough to break since he does have the political favor and that fan. So he is going to get the void ring there and void the goblin sneak. Interesting. I'm actually a little bit curious why he went void instead of one of the other options there. Oh, I guess it's because he doesn't want his rival to get voided, right? Like you just don't want to risk that. Um, so three to seven here. So Crane should just win this, right? right. So he's going to keep the favor. Ooh, there's the Asami, though. Uh, actually, if Scorpion has four shame here, that's really strong. So as Crane, you want a way to reduce the skill of one of these characters, probably by dishonor <coughs> dishonoring them so that you can stronghold. Uh, but again, if he does have the Force Shame, then you're kind of in trouble here. Oh, we do see the Force Shame to bow the political rival. 
So Asami will get to use her ability now and steal an honor. And this will also break fertile fields and get you a free firing. Uh, probably to dishonor that doji challenger, right? So yeah, the, the only positive thing for this conflict is that fertile fields breaks. Which means Scorpion will need to start attacking into different provinces now and might hit Shameful or, or Magistrate Station. Yep, so there's the break. Crane will get favor because of Imperial Palace. Ooh, Dishonor's Guest of Honor. So he just wants the Dishonor to happen now, the or the one honor loss, rather. Um, since the Doji Challenger is going to be in play for a long time. I guess that also plays around Soul Beyond Reproach if he draws it on the Challenger. Uh, no, Scorpion has not used the Stronghold this turn, as far as I know, because he's at higher honor. Ooh, discards Kaizen and Imperial Palace. Uh, you definitely want to keep Asami here, right? Her ability is going to be pretty good. Finds Artisan Academy, Storehouse, and Doji Whisperer. Um, so this is probably good. You can get, you can see some more cards here and still bid one. You're definitely going to bid one. Uh, and then you can play Asami and the Whisperer and try to start stealing some honor back. Be hard for Scorp to finish Crane here. Yeah, definitely with the with the Asami here, it's going to be difficult. Like you probably play Asami with just a bunch of fate, right? Uh, Scorpion doesn't have any Shugenja showing currently, and no Shugenja conflict characters, so he won't be able to cloud Asami. Unless he has Kachiko, yeah, Kachiko could could do some work here. He did. He does find another actress as well, which could pull that Asami back again to steal another honor potentially. Is there a Shugenja and Crane discard? Uh, there is the Mia Mystic, but you don't really want to have to play that. Like, that's that's just pretty bad, right? I don't think you would do that. Blackmail Artist? Yeah, Blackmail Artist is good. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you didn't mean Crab? <laughs> um, so we're waiting on Scorpion here. Yeah, Blackmail Artist is probably just going to get bowed by the Stronghold, that's true. I think Scorpion, um, how many Fate Worse Than Deaths has he played? Still just one, right? Yeah. Use Actress as a challenger to get Asami in a military conflict. Yeah, that's true. In French, Crab is Crab. Yeah, I was going to say, actually, that sounds like what it would be in French or something. Crab and Crane are like the two closest clans to each other in terms of how similar the names are. Considered buying Diplomat and Passing, has not seen a single Yoshi. Yeah, that's a good point. Black Maya Artist is just for the possibility of Honor Steel. Hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, so Scorpion is going to take that Passing Fate. We don't see the Doji Whisper played. Autocorrect always tries to correct Crane to Crab. Maybe it's trying to tell you what the what the best clan is. Um, so they're both gonna use their storehouses there. <laughs> yeah. So do you use Artisan Academy now or do you wait till the conflict? Not really sure what the better option is. My autocorrect always tries to translate charge into iron mine. That makes sense. Uh, there is the Artisan Academy going to find a way of the crane. That's pretty good for the what you could possibly find there. If you if you Artisan Academy and then use Imperial Storehouse, can you play the next card? If you do it in that order, it would just draw the one that's revealed, and then you wouldn't be able to play it as if it were your hand anymore, because it is in your hand. So that would just be a waste of the Artisan Academy, right? Ooh, we see he's going to find Shameful Display here. Yeah, yeah, it is the um, reveal the top card of your conflict deck. Until the end of conf uh, the phase, you may play that card as if it were in your hand. So it's not you can play the top card of your deck. It's you can play the one that you revealed. Um, so yeah, big defense here. I think that's kind of necessary. You don't want to lose to, like, Fate Worse Than Death and stuff. Um, so first action should be Asami, and that is what we see. Let's see what Scorpion does now. If he has four Shame to bow the political rival and then Fate Worse Than Death on Asami, that would actually be really strong. But you should still be fine, because you just stronghold to bow the blackmail artist, and then you're fine. Right? Uh, Scorpion is out of Hawk Tattoos, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, if he has Kachiko, that would be pretty good. Uh, we do see the Force Shame. So you definitely shameful now to honor Asami and dishonor Blackmail Artist, right? Because that turns on Voice of Honor. Yep, that is what we see. And again, we know that he has two Voices of Honor in hand, and this turns off the Forged Edict as well. If he does have Kachiko, that's, that's the card he needs right now, I think. Crane would then need another political buff to make sure that Asami doesn't get bowed and has already played all three fans. Ooh. Uh, we do know that there's another political rival in hand, actually, so you could just play that if Asami gets sent home. That would actually still win you the conflict because you box the blackmail artist and you have favor. You have to have Kachiko for this attack to work. Uh, yeah, I think so. We'll see if he has it, though. Ooh, wow, doesn't have it. 
Um, so he does get two bows there. I'm not sure why he played the four shame, though. Playing the four shame seems wrong. If you're not going to play another card. So Doji Challenger can attack now. Going to go for that Earth Ring to get the Fate. Uh, and we'll find Pilgrimage here. So I have to imagine Crane has some sort of military buff or you just wouldn't attack Pilgrimage, right? Oh, well, we do know that he has the Way of the Crane, so that works. And finally, going to get to use those Voice of Honors if Scorpion tries to play any events here. We see a pass from Scorpion. So you play the Way of the Crane now, right? I feel like this, hmm, so if Scorpion has a conflict character here, I mean, you still have the political rival, you can play that with two fate and then do your political attack, um, but you can't go at the stronghold, can you? Because it's rally. Hmm. So if Scorpion has a conflict character, you will need to do something about that. So way the crane gets used, uh, we see a way the scorpion to counter that. Uh, ooh, does play voice of honor there. So only two of those left in the deck. See a pass. Yeah, voice is on, no edicts. That is true. Uh, getting him to spend voice of honor on way the scorpion is good at least better than spending it on he has at least one voice of honor in hand I think uh, there could have been another one drawn since then uh, we see the Kachiko does get played at home with three fate hmm I guess he knew that if he played her in the other conflict then the political rival would have just come down and he would have lost the conflict anyway so I'm gonna save it for here uh, Pilgrimage does break. Ooh, Earthring hits a calling in favors. That's not what you want to hit. Challenger pulls. Well, he wants to get the break, so it looks like he's actually not going to pull. Uh, but this does mean that the Kachiko can break Shameful Display. It will also cost an honor if there's no conflict character. If he played it in the other conflict, could court games and noble sack? Yeah, that's true. So yeah, we do see this going at shameful display with the firing. Seems good. Uh, was the fertile fields a force break? Um, fertile fields, he attacked with six strength and then four shamed the rival that was defending to win the conflict. So it broke. So I think Crane needs to flip the stronghold this turn. Um, if you have a Steward of Law, then that's perfect. Ooh, we see a Steward of Law here, though, so he's going to force shame, maybe? That seems pretty good. And then you can just poke it next turn. See a pass. See if he has the four shame. No reason to play it if you don't have four shame, right? So I think we will see that. Yep, there it is. 
Uh, you could have forged Edict there, but you'd have to dishonor her, so it's pretty bad. So yeah, just bow. So, Crane does win that conflict. Oh, right, right, right. Steward of Lost stops Edict. Good point. But yeah, even even if even if you could Edict, you wouldn't do it there because you would still lose. Like, she would be going down to zero military, so it would have the same effect, but it would also dishonor her. Um, so, Crane does get the favor. Unfortunately, not going to be able to flip the Stronghold this turn, though. But he has a pretty good board here. Despite only having two honor. Um, I think you just discard everything and try to find Yoshi now, right? Scorpion needs assassinate plus box. Yeah. Crane is going to be first player here, so I think what you do is you go Doji Challenger Military at the Stronghold to flip it since she's balanced, and you go for the air ring. Clock is starting to be relevant. Yeah. Hmm. We do see the Yoshi found here. Yeah, I think this might actually just be it for Scorpion. Uh, so Crane has the first attack. So you attack with Doji Challenger at the Stronghold, right? And then if you're not breaking, like you force him to spend something so you're not breaking, like the the uh, Sinister Soshi, and then isn't that against the rules? Yeah. And then you, um, he actually kept both of these other cards here. That's actually surprising to me. The Artisan Academy I can understand, but the Doji Whisper I think I would have discarded. Um, Scorpion's going to bid two there. Uses Bayushi Manipulator to increase it by one. So this is actually good. Scorpion can use the Stronghold now and bring them both to 3 honor. And he gets some more cards. Uh, definitely puts Crane a little bit further out of that dishonoring out range, though. Ooh, we see a fine katana. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. It counters the Sinister Soshi and makes him spend another card. So yeah, I still like the Doji Challenger Stronghold um, military attack. I guess he flips it to political, probably, right? But you have to poke it. You could just poke it with the Steward of Law, but that seems not as good. Uh, this way you can pull in Kachiko after he spends something. Uh, so yeah, we see Military Water. I think you should probably switch it. Because he's probably going to pull in Kachiko, right? Plus, you don't want to let him play that Katana. Just get a free card there. Like, I mean, he's going to play it anyway, I guess. But Yeah, so we do see it get switched. Um, ooh, Kachiko defends. So he's just going to send it, send this home, I guess. Yeah, so he, he figured that what was going to happen was he was going to have to spend a card to lower the stats so it wasn't breaking, and then Kachiko would get pulled in anyway. So he just goes ahead and defends with Kachiko and bows it, not taking any chances. Ch chances...
Uh, ooh, we see Hawk Tattoo move in the Young Rumor Monger here. So Crane trying to get all of these characters in so he can break with the political attack coming up. And we see a pass from Scorpion, so that is going to be it there. So yeah, Scorpion has like no defense now for this political attack, right? Um, I guess he probably attack... He could do a fire attack. Mm, I don't know, that doesn't seem that good. Like, I don't think you can do anything here, really. Um, we actually haven't seen any forged edicts this game, interestingly. Uh, he's gonna go fire at shameful display, okay. Yeah, voice is still turned on. Does Crane have any censures? No. So, let's see, do you defend this? Would have liked to see a one bid here, then assassinate, then all in political, yeah. Uh, he could just not have the assassinate, I guess, but that would have been pretty good. We see the Steward of Law defend. Um, he's not going to be able to win this, is he? Well, okay, he plays the katana, right? And then Shameful gets you a free honor as well at the end of the turn. Plus, he can't dishonor anybody with the firing, anybody being Yoshi. Yep, there's the fine katana. Ooh, we see a bonsai. If Crane has four shame, you're probably going to be sad here, right? You could have actually Sinister Soshied there instead, but I guess playing the bonsai is better since the next attack will be political. So I think if Crane has the four shame, he probably plays it. Yep, we do see the four shame. So there's the bow, there's the pass, so use shameful. Better not forget, no, forgot to use shameful. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people forgetting to use shameful lately. I don't know what it is. Like it's always a situation like this where you can only honor or dishonor one character. But you should still use it, because, like, you're, you're not going to get another chance to use it this turn, right? So you should just take the free honor. Uh, probably won't matter, though. I think this will just be the stronghold break. Skill 12, that rally to the cause, will be 10 after the Sinister Soshi. So he needs, like, a, um, what's it called, Cunning Magistrate? Is that what it's called? Yeah, cunning mag he needs a Cunning Magistrate and a way to dishonor the Yoshi, I think. Uh, wow, tries to play Voice of our, uh, Fate Worse Than Death with his remaining fate, despite... Oh, okay, so this is going to be a Cancel War. So Voice of Honor cancels it, Forged Eat it cancels Fate Worse Than Death. Surprised he dishonored Kachiko? Oh, I guess he doesn't want to lose to Dishonor, right. 
is there another voice of honor? If you have two forged edicts, then you actually know that this is going to go off here. Ooh, that's really strong. He uses Young Rumormonger to move the dishonor to Yoshi. So this, this I think, is actually going to prevent the break here. Uh, Scorpion will still lose two honor here. So it'll be down to one honor. Uh, we see Yoshi use, going to draw some cards. If he finds Soul Beyond Reproach, then Scorpion needs to play another cancel. And if Scorpion plays another cancel and dishonors one of these characters, he's just going to lose at the end of the turn anyway, right? Yeah, we do see the Soul Beyond Reproach. So if you don't cancel this, your stronghold breaks. If you do cancel it, you lose to dishonor. Oh yeah, if you have Noble Sack, that wins you the game also. Uh, there's a Court Games to Dishonor Yoshi. This is not enough. If I have Noble Sack, I'm just playing it now. Court games, alright. Like, this has got to be it for Scorpion, right? Um, we see a Forged Edict canceling the court games, but that does mean he's going to die to Dishonor, right? There is Sinister Soshi, so... He does prevent the break this way, but again, he's just going to lose to Dishonor now. Like, there's no card he could play that could prevent him from dying here, right? The only one I can think of is Duty, but that is not out yet, so... Yeah, this is over in multiple ways. Yeah, it looks like it. Crane is probably just checking the deck here to make sure there's nothing he could have. He has zero fate. So, yeah, I think there's just literally nothing. Uh, we do see the Noble Sack. I mean, you might as well play that, I guess. Yeah, so that way the game's just going to end after this conflict. Ooh, there's the pass. Yep, so it loses one honor. Resolves the airing to take one honor, and that is going to be the game. Oh, how did he get in here? Yeah, so... Uh, well played there. Crane winning every game today, yeah. So with that win, the Netherlands will take the series over Greece, 2-1. to one. Um, Not sure what the scores were before that. Looks like Netherlands, Netherlands and Greece were both the winning teams of the first series. So Netherlands is 2-0 Netherlands is now and Greece is 1-1. One Looks like Singapore beat USA. I don't know if I caught all of those games. And France beat Spain. So is France 2 0 also? Yeah, it looks like they are. Alright, well that's going to be it. Um, well played there to both players. Sweden is 2-0 as well.
Where's Sweden? Ah, there they are. Cool. Yeah, France 2 also. Uh, so USA is 1 and 1, right? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, well that's going to do it for this game. Um, hopefully we keep seeing some more good games here. be interesting to see how things turn out. But thanks everybody for watching this game, and I will see you guys in the next one.